an espresso shot. Oh, it's an espresso shot. Well, good morning or good evening, wherever you're downloading this Friday morning espresso shot from. This is a Friday morning espresso shot for an episode that's coming out on... Monday the uh, 31st. Monday the 31st. Halloween. Halloween. You may call it Halloween. Sean and I refer to it as Reformation Day. Oh. Mm. Uh, for the more spiritual ones. Uh, you know, dress up for it, too. And you hand out we candy. do. We do. I, I don't hand out candy. I hand out Bible tracts. Mm. I dress up as a, I dress up as a reformer. So your house gets egged. <laughs> I dress up as a reformer and hand out the Bible to all the lay people. Do you mm. get anybody coming to your house for Halloween? No, I admit. never had a trick or treater. We've had them when I keep the light on, but normally I turn the light off. I don't care to have trick or treaters. Yeah, nah. my neighborhood's pretty active. Yeah, 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 yeah. You live in a village. Yes. Listen, man. You, if you, you you live in such a nice neighborhood, you have an HOA. <laughs> Do you have an HOA? Yeah. <laughs> I saw. Yeah, I saw. Lucky, a lucky us. Yeah. I saw a shirt today that says "Defund the HOA." <laughs> <laughs> politics coming up on Monday. I think Sean wants to talk some politics. Yeah. Speaking of defunding, politics is on Monday. Well, and we'll we'll get into Romans eight, but we don't have our boy with us tonight. Yeah. Wesley. <laughs> Retread lightly when the when the theologian's not here. He chose Little League Baseball over Layman's Cup. I want the Army to know that. Yeah, he's pitching tonight, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On three days rest. <laughs> now, he, listen, the, what he really said was, I, I'm choosing to be a good dad. Yeah. I, and I would accept that if it were. I'm going to stay home and, you know, build a campfire with my boys and. Disciple them well, maybe take them through catechism. Now we can misrepresent his feelings on Matt Rule. Yeah. Nothing he can do to defend himself. Yeah, like right. he's the only one that wanted to keep Matt Rule. <laughs> 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 he's the only one that believed him. We're like, no, no, Wes. Just want the army to know Wes chose his little league baseball team over you guys tonight. So we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out without him. But I tell you what, I got a voicemail, voice note from Star Henderson. I hope, I hope, and y'all didn't put it on this one. I don't want to drop this last week. That voice note from Star. Oh gosh, you forgot all about it. I'll send it to you again. I yep, I didn't do it. Yeah, I was supposed to do that in the beginning of the show, didn't so, I? So yeah. So man, what what do we? Let's tell everybody what we're, we're up against. And didn't hear this part. All right, I got a cruise coming up, mm. and I'll be out of town this weekend. Rich. Yeah, yeah. And so you guys have a lot going on next week. Not yep. a poor person carnival cruise, is it? It's 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 not the poor person carnival cruise. Mm. He, he's post mill living cruising. But I also good. I also got this cruise. I've never been on this boat, and I got it at a discounted price. Yeah. So uh, we're going to cruise the seas in the Norwegian. Where are you? Uh, what's your uh, ports? I have no idea. I think out of Miami, and then we're going to the Caribbean. I think, I think this is one of those times that where Megan said, show up, and he said, yes, ma'am. One, on one of those no times? no idea where we're going. You think this is one of those times? <laughs> <laughs> a cruise to nowhere. <laughs> yeah. How many days? I think I'm going a while. Could you be more specific? Ten. Good. Really? I think I'm going ten, but I don't think I'm cruising ten. Like a seven-day okay. cruise? I think it's seven, yeah. Okay. Right? So yeah, I fly I down. Know. That's day one. Day two on the boat for seven, and then we got to get back. So I'm going nine, nine, nine days probably. I don't want to tell on the internet Nobody's that. living, though. right? Huh? My house my house will be heavily guarded while I'm gone, though. <laughs> <laughs> heavily guarded. You're going to take the little thing off the door that you have to open the door. Every time we close this front door, it falls. You hear it fall, fall on the, the front porch behind you. Sometimes we turn off the light and say, let's see if we can get in now. Uh, what else is going on in the life of the Layman's Cup boys? What's going on in the life of the Layman's, Layman's Cup girls? Anything? <laughs> I came in hey. here tonight, and she, was, she had her head on the desk asleep. Ann is very excited. She's fired up. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. She is. <laughs> she's she'll, excited. I'm excited. Starting on Friday, yeah. she'll she'll watch the World Series with me again. Oh, Houston, Houston Astros. Yeah. Oh, honestly, back in the big. Dance. I would pull for them over over the Phillies. Back but in the big dance. We are. I just hate first, Bryce Harper that bad. First team in uh in a major league history to win to go to six mm -hmm. uh, championship league series. Yeah. And we won. Uh, now this will be the third or fourth one that we won. What's it like? Let's see you do it without the garbage can. 
Oh. <laughs> we can get to the World Series without the garbage cans. We just haven't won. Uh oh. We just haven't won the World Series without the garbage cans. Oh, yeah. What's it like to have a team that's always a contender for something? Like I'm you, tell you're you a something. Houston Astros fan. You're an Alabama fan. I don't have one of those teams. I don't either. You don't have a team. You don't. Welcome. 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 Well, you got to remember when we started this podcast, yeah. the Astros was, was on their third season where they lost over 100 games. There so were, it's very nice to be. So from 16 and 17, they were the darlings of the league. And now they're the most hated team in the league, and I love it. Yeah, there were a lot now of lean Alabama, years for Alabama because after the '92, after we beat yeah. Miami, then kind of went downhill. Like Tennessee on us. We in the early 2000s, we had, we were in probation for <laughs> no reason. <laughs> 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 we were so bad that we could we could actually get saving. So we had a coach that never coached a game, and he got fired. Uh, what we had Francione leave us. He went. He spurned us. Went to A and M. Then we had uh, Mike Price for like two weeks before he got fired. Then we had uh, Shula. <laughs> Shula. Shula was bad enough to is get. That, is that one of those things? Were. You got fired on your day off. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so we had a lot of lean years then. Yeah. Don't talk to me about lean years because you're fat right now. I'm not complaining. Yeah. That's good, but. But they're like, yeah. When I'm you a, run out of places to put the national championship bricks or whatever mm-hmm, you do it. Mm-hmm. I am a Charlotte sports fan. Talk, don't talk to me about lean years. <laughs> You've been to two Super Bowls. We've been to two Super Bowls. Mm-hmm. I th- I a think, lot of time in between that though. We know yeah. we can't have winning. We can't have back to back winning seasons. Was it 2017 since the last time y'all had a win- winning? Season? I love how you say we. Let me give you. Let me give you option one. Alabama's in the national championship. Option two, Panthers are in the Super Bowl. You get to watch one game. It would be Alabama. Yeah. See? It's, it's I've been an f- Alabama fan a lot longer than I've been a Carolina Panther fan. Mm. I mean, they didn't even. Someone come, asked me it recently. It was like 95 is when the Panthers started. S- someone asked me recently, are you a pro sports fan or a college sports fan? It's, it's nuanced, right? Yeah. Like, I'd much rather watch um, Tennessee and Alabama versus Denver and Chicago. Yeah, I think the college football, college football is just more pageantry around it. And yeah, oh yeah. And what, atmosphere is so much better. Stadiums are always bigger. Yeah. yeah. There's more games to watch that I, I enjoy. I, I tell you what, good college football is better to watch than any NFL team. I don't know, man. But I enjoy watching the NFL. I enjoy, I probably follow the NFL more than anything else. And everybody said you, you know, oh, you got to go see soccer and stuff. And we watched, uh, we watched a, a national soccer game in Europe. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't think the pageantry was was near what a college football atmosphere was. Yeah, they don't, they don't know, they don't know. Um, what I rather watch, and that was that was what Netherlands and Peru. I mean, there was, I mean, it was it was okay. Yeah, was there, like, there was so much tradition behind every college. You know, every college has their own traditions, uh, and it's just fascinating. I, I mean, will give Virginia Tech. They got the best entrance in uh, Absolutely. Yeah. But but then even, you know, Tennessee's got the Tennessee walk. You know, Iowa's got the wave to the hospital. Alabama's got, you know. Clemson runs down the hill. Runs yeah, down the hill. Good. Yeah. Um, but listen, pro sports versus college, college sports. Would I rather watch March Madness or the NBA Finals? March Madness. Would you really? Yes. Yeah, Absolutely. Uh, college sports I, I are, watch, for me are so much better than than professional. I, I watch March Madness. I don't watch the NBA Finals. Yeah. I'll keep up with it, of yeah. course. But yeah. oh, you watch all of March Madness. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. maybe being a Hornets fan has jaded me. It's like stupid finals. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. And and here's here's some different. Like, I, I I'm gonna try to go to my first in, uh, NBA game this year. Mm-hmm. At that point, I've seen all four of the major leagues. Right. Yeah. But I am an NFL fan. I keep up with all of it. I'm a Tennessee fan, of course, a Titan fan. Uh-huh. But when it comes to like baseball, I'm a Nationals fan. I could tell you, I can't tell you anything about Philadelphia. Yeah, no, that, I love but, Braves fan. I've, but I've always been a Braves fan because yeah. in the South, that's all you had to be. You had TBS, yeah. and you had, and they weren't good till they got like my favorite player was Dale Murphy. They weren't good until they traded Dale Murphy because yeah. David Justice took a spot. But mm. but like I, I went to games like in the late eighties and stuff. Besides Bryce Harper, I can't tell you another Philadelphia fan uh, player. Yeah. But but I'm a I'm an Astros fan. I can tell you, yeah. you know, I can tell you who's playing what. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So, yeah, it's nuanced. I, for me, it's still nuanced. So, uh, tell me what my options are. You can't just say pro or college. I need to know what specifically, what game am I watching? Am, am I watching, you know, Duke ver- versus somebody I don't care about in football? Yeah, no. I, can, I can find a reason to to root for any game, to watch any game. Yeah. Like all Saturday, all, all the way to night, I can, I can watch even Pac-12 games because I have a reason. Basically, whoever whoever has the best record, I hope loses. <laughs> it's all how it, it how it how it affects Alabama. Yeah, and, I, and the I, SEC conference. I can watch any football game, any level. I'm not going to go watch Atlanta and Philadelphia play baseball, but I will watch every chance I get to see the Astros play. I'll I'll, I'll see the Astros yeah. play. Yeah, I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm I just grew up an Astros fan. Yeah, the only game I hadn't seen, I mean that I went that wasn't a Braves game, professional. But I did go see Mark McGuire play. Yeah. Uh, I was in uh, Anaheim, and I watched versus uh, when he was with Oakland. The year he got traded to St. Louis earlier that year, I watched him play. Now, going to a baseball game is so much more fun. Like I, I could go watch baseball all day long, mm. but watching it on TV, like a, just a random Thursday, and watching, uh, I, no, but Don't care. but but it's if it's the Astros, absolutely, yeah. What else is going on? How's your week? How's your week been yeah, so well, far? Well, I saw your interesting post on the Facebook page. What did I put? What, what did I put? Your uh, offensive player of the year. You saw that. that was a long time ago. You saw that, didn't you? Though I did see that. Let the record was ref- that. Was that that was uh, JV that the was, JV team? That was that year. Is one of these years right here? There it is, right there. Oh, it says uh, JV football. That was nineteen ninety three. That was ninety three, baby. Nineteen hundred. Not a lot of diversity on that team. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> Hence the best offensive player. <laughs> so, so I hate to tell you this. Now that the the Panthers won, that they're not going to need your services for at least for another week or two. Yeah, yes, uh, yeah. Nobody's called me yet. Hashtag available. Hashtag available. <laughs> yeah, you saw that, Bobby. I did. That's impressive. Mm. Thousand yard back right here. It doesn't look like it now. What do you think? What do you think? Nineteen ninety three Kemp would say if he saw you now. No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Push away from the table, Annie. <laughs> what do I need to do to not be where, that where you are now? No, I don't. I wish I could talk to nineteen ninety three Kemp. I wish I could and just tell him a few things. Tell him a few few mistakes not to make, and and. Look at you now. Seven day cruises. Don't even know where you're going. Like just here, take my money. <laughs> I don't care where I'm going. What are we talking about on Monday? We're talking about Romans eight, right? Are we gonna go through Romans eight? We're gonna go through the whole we thing. We might we might get into it. Uh Romans seven was fun with you guys last week. I would like to slowly walk through Romans eight, and here's why. Talk to me. Romans eight is the best chapter in the in Romans, it is. I saw me, what you were getting ready to say. You reeled it back in. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Well, I mean, they say that that out of Paul's writing, Romans is the his his, uh, you know, it's his complete yeah. theology. Yeah. And then Romans eight is the best chapter in Romans. Okay, is what they say. So, what, do you agree with that? I do. Okay, I do. It is my favorite chapter. Mm-hmm. I would like to slowly walk through it. I yeah. really would. Okay, um, that we can do. <laughs> yeah, because we've been rushing through Romans yeah, yeah. up to this point. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, yeah. It might take us another six months to get through it. <laughs> Don't remind um, us every six months. We got it. Yeah. yeah. Got it. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully we'll do a good job with this on Monday with uh, Romans eight. We got a lot of politics going on too. What? Good luck to the North Lincoln High School Theater Department on Friday as they compete at the North Carolina Theater Competition. Is that a real thing? It's a real thing. Good luck, North Lincoln High School. Hannah's in one of the plays. Is she? Mm-hmm. Is she the darling? Is she the star? She the tree. <laughs> <laughs> she's the star in the tree. <laughs> Depends on what what the play is. What's the play she's in? It's called uh, Booby Trap. Hmm. It's a soldier that is clearing landmines and takes a break and sits down under a tree only to sit down on a landmine. Oh, no. Oh, and he's got to sit there? He has to sit there the whole time. Knows when he gets up, he's dead? And then... Go ahead and spoil it for me. I'm probably not going to see it. You think? (laughs) It's just all the people around him, like the military people trying to figure out what to do with his family. and Yeah. Okay. Sad? Happy? Melancholy? That's a play. That's a theater word, ain't it? Melancholy. At the very end, does they does he just give up hope? 
And I haven't seen it yet. Fight. I'll tell you after tomorrow when oh. we do the showcase. Oh. Yeah, we'll see it tomorrow. I do know how it ends. Okay. So, so Hannah has got a play, got a part in this play. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of her guys at work is doing a short film, oh, and she got the cool. lead in the the short film. And she's also uh, for our Lincoln Theater or the community theater. She is the the stage manager for this next play. So, right. and her major, That's she wants play. to go forensic science, forensic science, and theater. Hmm. Okay, theater. Yeah. yeah. But Good. they, yeah. Let's have a marketable yeah, degree so with that. With that, <laughs> you don't want her to live yeah. with you forever, right? <laughs> yeah. She auditioned for this short. It's a horror movie, so of course she was all for it. I asked her. I said, uh, "Can I? Do I get to see it sometimes?" She goes, "I have to cuss in it." <laughs> no, she said she had to use no no words. No no words. <laughs> she don't know what she has to, to say. That's what she wanted. I don't know what she yeah, has to say. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't seen the script yet. Hmm. We don't even know if she survives the film. It's a horror movie. I bet you. I bet you. I can think of the word she has to say. What's the word you say when you get startled? Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's right. That's exactly right. right. Bob. I asked her. I said, do, 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 "You can bleep that out, right?" <laughs> do, 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 you, do you have to kiss anybody in this 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 movie? And she didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. I I, re- I saw this movie. I've been, I've been wanting to see Brad Pitt. It's called a Bullet Train or something like that. I've seen. Mm-hmm. I, I haven't seen it. I've seen. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. It looks good. It's it's uh, it's a lot of moving parts. I feel yeah. like I figured it out from the trailer. I've seen the trailer. So. You think so? Yeah. It's a lot of moving parts. You got to keep up with it. But it was it's good. It's action it's packed the whole way through. Funny, a lot of funny. Yeah, it's yeah comedy action. I'm gonna uh, see uh, Wakanda Forever on Thursday night. At a boy. Where are you gonna see Thursday night? Are you? Yeah, we By always, yourself? We always go on Mar. No, we always go. Who's we? Yeah. Me and a group of guys, we always go see pretty much any big movie we see at Thursday nights. Did you go see um, Black Adam? Lady Queen? No. You didn't? It's a big movie. Lady King? Big movies. Big movies. Not, about the, not the slave traders. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I started a conversation with a guy at work, and uh, and I, I didn't know how to finish this conversation, but he, he was like, man, I can't wait till... And he named the date. And he acted like I knew exactly what he's talking about. He goes, Wakanda forever. And I was like, I didn't have the heart to tell him. I, I really didn't like the first one. <laughs> oh, no. I know I'm not supposed to say that. Mm. I know it's supposed to be. But it was just, uh, it was okay. Oh, gosh. He didn't like it. <clears throat> I know. I heard him. I heard him. Hey, <laughs> hey, Layman's Army. Sean didn't like the Black Panther. Mm. What did you find offense? What did you not like? About I didn't it find film? it offensive. I just the character. What, what was your least favorite character in that movie, Sean? <laughs> what was your favorite character in that? I movie? Can't even was, it the, it. was it the black men or the black women that you didn't like? <laughs> <laughs> the plot. I got bored. Really? I did. I, I really thought did. that was one of the best Marvel movies. I, I'm sorry. I just yeah, I I thought the. Maybe I'll give it a second try. Yeah, you're so anti-woke. Hmm. But you can't even enjoy a good Marvel movie. <laughs> He's more of an Ant-Man and the Wasp kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> I do like I like most Marvel movies. <laughs> uh, I like my, here's the thing my about my least favorite, by the way. I like Really? I yeah. like I the like best. I like oh, I know we gotta land this plane soon, but I like the Avengers. The Avengers movies. I like the main storyline. And everyone that goes off to the right or left, I'm I'm just not into it. But you like Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Not really, and I love I don't that even character. Know who you are anymore? <laughs> Not really. I I watched that That's one. Probably the best. I, I tried to watch that three times. I was like, just, "You understand this, the the in?" Let's, I want to double back to Black Panther. You no, no. I, uh, yeah, let's go back to that. Yes, I know it is a culturally elite movie. Well, but the, but there there's a there's a message and there's a social piece about the about uh, Killmonger who lost his dad and grew up in a rough neighborhood and. They were addressing that, and they were addressing uh, black wealth, and they were addressing all these social... Some of the undertones I did not agree. It was more like... Because they were more isolationist during that time. Mm, you and, you know, like now, either, huh? Well, they were more like, you know, open it up. And I, I saw that more of as, as yeah, a commentary on the on immigration the and stuff. So. Was, uh, yeah, so Sean's not the only one in here. America's responsibility to... You know what I'm sensing in here right now? Microaggression. <laughs> I told you I enjoyed the movie. Isn't that enough? I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. At least I'm not sure. We'll see between now and Monday. Sean hated it. Sean yeah. hated it. Let's not. I didn't don't. see it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get. didn't catch all those underlying themes you were talking about. Yeah. Like, miss, when I watched it's not it. as bad as like, Captain Marvel with that. I, I, I got distracted. What were you distracted by? 
Michael B. Jordan. Ah. Uh. See, Come now on, you get a pass. Character. Now you get a pass not to like black stuff because you like black men. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Sean's not very happy right now. That wasn't Michael B. Jordan, was it? Yeah. Yeah, Kim Killmonger Monger was. Yeah. Oh, the bad guy was. Yeah. Not, not, He's not bad guy. Panther. Was he a bad guy? He's a bad, he just... bad guy. He did, well, he did murder people. Well, bad, yeah, bad is the pr- from his perspective. He did it's murder people. Understood. He was the protagonist. In the museum, in the museum he murdered people. Yeah, he would have been the antagonist. Anti- actually. Antagonist. But you, you, you have to understand the the story is what he's like the Joker. Is it okay? To, you just find the Joker's action. I'm not, but but if you understand, if you're s- sympathizing to social uh, mental health, then you kind of you kind of go, okay, I understand why he is the way he is. Here's, here's Michael B. Jordan is Creed, uh-huh. and that those are awesome movies, and I cannot wait till the third. Is he one reliable? Out. Heavyweight, though, really? <laughs> I can't wait till the third one. Comes <laughs> I haven't seen any of the Creeds. Really? Yeah. Creed, the second one's really good. Yeah. yeah. Ivan, he fought Ivan Drago's son. This yeah. is normally a Christian podcast, and we talk about a lot Bears. of things. This is a Friday preview. We're this is more Friday. secular. And, yeah. <laughs> We're more uh, worldly on these. Yeah. You, I enjoy the whole Rocky series, and even in the Creed. The third Ooh. one, Rocky, is not, or uh, Sylvester Stallone is stepping back from and not going to be in it. I, think. I don't think. I don't think he's in it at all. In the third one, he's not. I think I have he's never seen, nor do I care to see, any of the Rocky movies. No, I never. Oh, none of the Rocky movies. Oh, wow. Did you ask her this when y'all were dating? She didn't tell me that till we got married. Yeah, and it was too, too late. late at that point. It's too late at this point. Rocky three is could be one of the greatest movies of all time. No, which, Rocky four is better if you grew up in the eighties. I did grow up in the eighties, but I still think. Who, which one had the Russian? Four. four. Oh yeah. Mister T though, man, Clever Lane. Come yeah. on now. It was more cartoonish and stuff. It also had Mr. T. Uh, and Mr. I'm sorry, Mr. T. But it had Hulk Hogan in it. Yeah. As, uh, when uh, when 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 he died, when the uh, Mick Mick died. Yeah. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Sorry, Ann. Yeah. Sorry for ruining a movie like 30 yeah, years old. Like, what was that? After th- 20 years, it's no longer a spoiler alert. Yeah. All right, let's land this. Let's land it. All right, Monday, we're going to get into some politics. We're going to get into a little bit of Romans 8, and who knows what else. Maybe there's a few uh, get it off your chest or or some quick sips. Probably going to talk about Wes more. We'll probably talk about Wes a little bit more, too. But as, as always, thank you for downloading our Friday Espresso Shots. We'll see you on Monday.